Hi, this is Mike, and I'm here to talk to you about watering. Whether you're watering your garden, whether you're watering your lawn, whether you're watering flowers, same basic concept, tools are a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be taking a hose, hooking it up to the spigot on the house, and uh, the connections for hoses are very universal. So it's a three-quarter inch garden hose fitting. If you uh, uh, are looking around for uh, anything uh, to attach to, that's all you got to look for. Three-quarter inch garden hose. So this connects to the uh, spigot on the house, and the other end attaches to your device. What is the device? That's the actual thing you're watering with. So we have uh, hand-held uh, watering uh, tools, ones that you would uh, just screw right under the end of the hose. This is a good old-fashioned uh, waterer here, that or uh, a nozzle here, you know, similar to a uh, fireman's nozzle to put out fires. So you can do either a wide pattern or a narrow pattern, and just by turning it, and then of course shutting it off just by turning it all the way closed. This is a, a the style that's a little bit newer that you see around. Uh, it's a squeeze type and it has a rotary uh, end on it. You can set it to different settings. So you got shower, cone, uh, fan. Uh, so you can just flip it and change it to whatever pattern works for you. So if you're uh, watering delicate flowers, you might be watering on a mist. If you're watering something that's distant, uh, you might put it on jet just to shoot the water across to it. Um, this, again, is the same basic style. It's got the rotary end on the uh, handle, uh, but it's got the handle further out here. What this allows you to do is to reach over and up to water flowers that are up high, uh, and also to reach down and water underneath plants so that you're watering the roots. Um, we also have hoses uh, that are meant for watering specifically. So this is an example of a soaker hose. This also comes in a round variety. And what happens is it just weeps. You hook the hose, uh, your uh, supply hose up to this and you lay it out on your garden around your plants, whether it's uh, vegetables or whether it's flowers. And when you turn the water on, the hose just gently weeps water. So you're watering directly to the soil um, and that uh, 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 has less waste for water. This hose here is on a sprinkler hose. It's similar in concept, but this actually has little holes in it, and the water sprinkles out of the, the uh, sides of the hose. And um, it allows you, again, to get the water directly to the plant that you're, you're looking to water. Uh, these uh, sprinklers here are a little bit more general in watering. They're more distant. This is a rotary style sprinkler and the idea here is, is that it spins around and this is one that chatters as it spins and it spins around until it hits a stop and then it resets itself, recycles itself and then continues along. Uh, this is nice for a, uh, a broad area or a general area, middle of the lawn type of thing. Uh, this one here is on wheels, of course, so you can move it around. This is the same type of sprinkler with a stake on it. So you can stake it into the ground and then water and then move it and then put it in another area. This is an oscillating sprinkler where the, uh, uh, this bar uh, oscillates back and forth, basically back and forth like this. You adjust uh, how far it goes. Uh, there's different settings or different types of settings that you can use. Um, this is great for doing, again, big square areas, uh, rectangles, etc. This one here is the same idea as this, it's just a little bit fancier. Uh, it allows you to change the pitch of the, uh, the nozzles so that you can have it spraying straight up or you can have it spraying out in a fan and it allows you to control the width. Plus, it's a little bit easier to control the, uh, the distance it goes on either uh, cycle. Uh, lastly, there's a uh, throttle adjustment to how much water is coming out. When you're watering, you want to get an idea of how much water your sprinkler is producing. Um, and that will vary depending on the water pressure uh, in your neighborhood. It will also depend on the length of the hose that you're going through. And it will depend on the style of sprinkler that you've got. 
one idea that you uh, can use, and it's a, it's, it works quite well, is to take a couple of uh, coffee cans and put them around in the yard in different areas while you're running your sprinkler. And run your sprinkler for uh, a fixed amount of time, let's say 30 minutes. And at the end of that 30 minutes, measure how much water is in each of the cans. And that'll give you an idea of the watering rate. As an example, most uh, grasses, uh, they want about two, uh, two uh, uh, inches per week uh, in the hotter season, so in uh, July and August. So you want to be thinking about how much water do I need to supply in a given time period to produce that much uh, rain or water. And it might not be all at once, because two inches in, in one watering is a lot, so it might be down over the course of three or four waterings. Uh, the other thing to consider is the time of day that you're watering. The ideal time of day is in the morning, in the early morning. And the reason for that is uh, it's not hot enough to allow a lot of evaporation. So the water tends to soak down into the soil and it benefits the plants more. Um, the other thing is during the evening, the problem you've got is the water will sit on the leaves of the plant or um, on the greenery of the plant and potentially cause mildew or molds to grow that uh, are not beneficial. So that's the basic of wa basics of watering. I hope it's, you find this uh, useful and helpful. And again, as always, you can come down to Watermakers and we'll help you out with any additional information. Thank you. Mm -hmm.